actors, and that you know we're not just some you know uh, you know fight scene and fight scenes alone. Uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've gone and seen some of the big films lately that are about heroes and fighting and come out of it not really moved emotionally, but I know that you know just watching my. Our, our series, as a, as, a, as a spectator myself, I just really enjoy watching the emotional storylines grow. So I think in this last season, what's going to happen is everybody that you've sort of really grown to care about over four segments of Spartacus, you know, all of us uh, are going to be very close to to the end. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll just take you on that journey in a way that you'll you'll get moved by it. Yeah, one of the things I'm loving about this season is Marcus Crassus. You guys are excited about seeing that guy? I'll tell you one thing, Simon Merrills, who plays him, is unbelievable. He's, uh, he's got a, like a, the canon of bad guys in the show is pretty high up there with Batiatis and Lucretia and Alithia and yeah, <laughs> But um, man, he does a mighty fine job. He is, he's some kind of awesome. You saw him for like a brief little minute up there in the trailer, but he's sensationally powerful. And we, uh, Spartacus and he get to have this wonderful little chess battle throughout this season. Little, I say little, it's what, 50,000 people's little. But, um, and, and uh, his offsider, Caesar, played by Todd Lassantz, he's an exceptional actor and he, uh, he'll give you a Caesar you've never thought you could see before. It's gonna be something special. Well, all right, this is a little, sort of a different direction, but can you guys keep track of how much blood you use? <laughs> did we run out last season or did I make that up? You ran out of blood. Yeah, I got told that we were rationing blood by the end of last season. <laughs> We came straight from a set onto the airplane to come here and they hand out this hand towel. You know how the guy who comes around, he gives you a hand towel to wipe your face? And Liam, after he wiped his face, it was like orange and red with like blood and makeup. <laughs> We're sitting in business class, he hands us these back, was so funny. Yeah, so yeah, he couldn't stop laughing. Here, let me get photos of that forever. Thanks. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done, is I've just gone, oh, that's so lovely, it's so refreshing, and oh. <laughs> Come off my face, Jesus. But uh, yeah, things we do, right? <laughs> I wish I was actually as tan as Mono was, because then I wouldn't have to have that every day. It's like, oh, well, you know, this bronze body doesn't make itself. <laughs> And that's why you play the lead. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this thing down right here. All right. <laughs> well, okay, so historical accuracy is something that I know has come up a number of times. And so, it, how, how deep do you go into that? How much is story, how much research do you do? I mean, I know you've done a lot. It's based on your life, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You know, we have a couple of great historical consultants, and I always like to say we're historically adjacent. Uh, you, sh you should write a college paper based on the show, uh, not your history class. Uh, but we do stick pretty damn close to actual events that happen. It it's interesting, in this final season, we have to compress a lot of events. So this is probably the one season that we stray the furthest. It's all the events actually um, more or less happen in the history. We just had to squeeze them together and move them around to tell a, a coherent story. It's about the cool, right? We just took the coolest parts. A good choice. Good choice. For your play. I saw one where he just took the boring bits and it just didn't fly. It's like the Princess Bride if it were R rated. Who's a nigga Montoya? Stealing anyone's question here, but um, are we ever going to learn Spartacus's real name? Bob. Oh, yeah. It was totally straight. Yeah, but like, unlike Princess Bride, our midget's got a dildo on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Horatio Spartacus. <laughs> on that note. Follow that. There you go. There you go. We're just going to open it up to the audience now. <laughs>